up with your silence all the way home. There are some things we have to discuss. Obviously, there is nothing I want to talk about. You mean it didn't bother you, him parading that little tramp in front of all your friends? Mother, I'm going to tell you one more time. I don't care what JR does or who he sees. Huh. The reason for that is painfully obvious to me. It has nothing to do with Dusty. It has to do with me. Now, I would greatly appreciate it if you would go into the house so I can talk to Dusty. Please, Sue Ellen, don't invite him in. I get the feeling your mother doesn't approve of me. It really doesn't matter. What a day, huh? Yes. It was a time not too long ago when I don't think I could have gotten through that day. And now you can. I didn't have a drink. I didn't all day. And I'm not even blaming anyone else for my problems. I hope you know what today meant to me. That was today. That may not be tomorrow or the day after. Sir really? no matter how much you think you may have changed, you can't deny what's always been between us. It was there the first time I ever saw you. And it still is. What do you want? I want to look around and find us a place to live and then get you out of here and and see if we can't make it together. I can't do that. I thought I explained that at the rodeo. But that was before we made love. And it was wonderful. There is something so very special about you. But I'm not ready to put my life in someone else's hands again so soon. What do you want? I want you to be a part of my life. Don't misunderstand that. But not to live with. At least, not until I'm a lot more sure of myself than I am now. I hope you can handle this. I don't want to lose you, Dusty. But I'm not going to give up myself to get you. 